The U.S. Navy will pass the 300 ships mark for the first time since 2002, according to its fiscal 2020 budget submission, a big step toward its current goal of 355 ships and a sign the service, after decades of contraction, is growing yet again. The last time the Navy hit more than 300 ships was in 2002, when it had 313, according to Naval History and Heritage Command. The Navy should be up to 314 ships by 2023, according to the Navy's budget submission. In total, the Navy is requesting $205.6 billion, which breaks out to $160.8 billion in base funding and a staggering $44.8 billion on overseas contingency operations funding. The ACO funding is up $36.6 billion over last year's request and is a gimmick to avoid budget caps. The budget will need to be hashed out in Congress through a spending deal. The budget also marks a major step toward an unmanned future for its battle force, budgeting $400 million in 2020 for two large unmanned surface vessels, or LUSV, and $2.7 billion across the five-year projection known as the Future Years Defense Program, or FYDP. The budget calls for two LUSVs per year across the program. The budget also calls for eight of its unmanned aerial refueling drones, the MQ-25 Stingray, with four per year starting in 2023. The service is also asking for $359 million for unmanned undersea vehicles, which includes $182 million for the newly awarded Orca Extra Large Unmanned Undersea Vehicle. In February, the Navy announced a $43 million contract with Boeing to begin construction on four Orca XLUVs, which will be used for a variety of unmanned mission areas including countermine, anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare.